aperture and or the f-stop is basically the eye of your camera and, or your lens and it's going to determine how open the eye is and how much light comes through but it also controls the depth of field so when you're getting ready to take your photographs you need to think about the amount of light that is out there but also what kind of depth of field you want and your aperture is going to help determine both of those things if you're in a low light situation you're going to need to open the aperture up to allow more light in but at the same time you need to be conscious of what shutter speed you're using because if there's action it could easily get blurry um, now a highlight situation where there's plenty of light you're going to be able to have the most combinations of aperture and f-stop and shutter speed so um, you know you have more options when there is more light um, it's just really important to think about the aperture as the lens's eye and the more you open it up the more lights going to come in but you also need to understand the aperture is going to control your depth of field so um, if you want an image with um, you know both the foreground and the background in focus you're going to need an aperture that allows you to do so um, the best way to learn is just to experiment so go out there and take pictures at different aperture settings see how they affect the light and then also see how they affect the depth of field you know someone can tell you but really if you do it and see it you're going to see you're going to see the most results and understand it the best